Hi everybody. Well, I'm in Kingston, SE, which is on the northeast tip, coastal tip of um, South Australia. Yeah, I had a good day today. It was about <coughs> 85 k's or something from Salt Creek to Kingston. The terrain was all mostly that Kurong stuff, but bush, pretty consistent bush scrub each side of the road all day. The road winds and winds and winds and winds hill, up, downhill, uphill. But there wasn't a super amount of traffic, not a lot of trucks, which is always good to hear. And um, I'm sort of into the swing of things now. The first few days was took some orientating with you know the handling of the bike and just doing you know, bigger Ks every day and just getting used to the whole thing. But I'm into it now. <clears throat> so um, I'm at Kingston, and tonight I've just had three or four nights in that tent. And at night in that <coughs> little bivy tent I've got, the condensation's pretty bad, so you end up sort of pretty wet. But after today I'd had enough, so. So we came into Kingston tonight, really looking forward to getting at this place, and it was sunny all day and the winds were accommodating and side winds, but the winds were, winds were good today. And um, yeah, so I'm about 10 k from home at a, at a tailwind, flying along, pushing a big gear, and I thought, this is cruising, I'll get in there at 3.30 or 4 o'clock or something. And what a bummer, the bloody, the, the sky became overcast and this screaming cold rain came in. I reached for my Gore-Tex jacket and put all the lights on, put all my night gear on, and um, it just rained like a bloody, rained like a bugger, with about 10, 12 k's to go. No big deal, but I thought, just got to get down there and cop it. And then all of a sudden the rain stopped, everything went quiet, the wind disappeared, the rain disappeared, the traffic seemed to disappear, and I had this beautiful bitumen road into Kingston, pretty much all to myself, with a glisten of the rain on the road, it was a beautiful last 10 k's in, it was just a really nice way to enter the place. So, so I came into Kingston and the first thing I see was this, uh, an old hotel, nice old hotel that says budget accommodation, I said beautiful, what a country, just my language. Because when you get these budget hotels it means you can put your bike in your room or it's much easier to do with a fancy hotel. Anyway. I've got a beautiful room, 50 bucks. I'm downstairs about to have a counter meal, surrounded by, um, I guess, all these farming people, nice country people. So I'm in this nice pub, just ordered a huge meal, so much food, but I'm really trying to get as much food into me every day. I just can't tell you how much I eat during a day. It's all budgeted, the clock goes off, my computer watch goes off and I eat. I eat carbohydrates and I eat salty biscuits and I take Gatorade and I take more water and I eat snakes and I eat biscuits and I eat cake and so I don't want to eat half of it but I, I just know that I, I've got to have the calories. Anyway, so good day today, so it's end of day four and I think we track tomorrow, I haven't walked out the, worked out the route exactly but we start tracking towards Mount Gambia. Once we get over the Mount Gambia sector it's in, then tracking into the coastal areas of um, in a Warnerball, Portland, Cape Ferry, uh, Cape Ferry? It's not Cape Ferry. Um, and then eventually around to Ocean Grove, Torquay and all that stuff. But that's to come. So the bike's going well, I'm holding up fine. Uh, I haven't got any injuries or bruises or hurts and the bike is going like a trick. <clears throat> so it's all good. Okay, thanks for listening. Uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye now.